Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You can see here beside me, I've got a whole bunch of drywall cut up into squares. Today we're doing a drywall test comparing this 44 Magnum versus 357 Magnum. We're gonna see how many walls of drywall each one of these will go through. Let's take a quick closer look at the guns and the ammo we're gonna be shooting. For the 357 Magnum, we are going to be shooting a Taurus Model 66, which is a seven shot 357 Magnum. And the bullets we're going to be using are 150 grain jacketed hollow points. The 44 Magnum we're going to be using for this video is a Ruger Red Hawk. Very, very nice 44 Magnum six shot revolver. And the ammo we're using is the exact same type of ammo as the 357, but in 44 Magnum, they're 240 grain jacketed hollow points. Let's go get this set up on the shooting table. Put down below how many layers of drywall you think these Magnum rounds are gonna go through. I'm gonna go ahead and guess the 357 goes through six and the 44 goes through seven. I'm guessing six and seven Let's go get set up and take these shots. I'm excited to see what happens. So, we're gonna start with the 357 Magnum, but you might be thinking, who really cares how many walls of drywall this can go through? Well, one, in your normal home, you can know kind of ballpark how many different rooms a bullet will travel through. But really, my thought in this is, most people know they now make bulletproof drywall, but most people, cannot afford that stuff it's ridiculously expensive so what my thought is what if on your regular framed house instead of just putting one sheet of drywall what if you put in three layers four layers five layers of drywall maybe just on one room that could be your safe room maybe it's a bathroom or a closet or a basement what have you but is it possible to fortify a safe room with just your run-of-the-mill cheap drywall as opposed to going out and forking out thousands of dollars for that bulletproof stuff. So that's what I want to test out here today. How many walls of drywall could I potentially put on a safe room to protect my family in the event of an intruder or what have you? So we're going to do this test with a whole lot of different firearms. But here in this video, we're doing the 357 and then the 44 Magnum. So let's go ahead and take this first shot with this Model 66 and the 150 grain jacketed hollow point. For the 357, I'm gonna shoot the left-hand side here. Hopefully, it puts on a good show for us. Took that shot right in the center with that 357 Magnum. I'm gonna go load up the 44, take the same shot, and we'll see what happens. All right, now we're gonna shoot this Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum. See what happens with it. And then we'll take apart the drywall and see what happens. Ooh, very nice revolver. Let's take apart this drywall and see what we did here. All right, so you can see the two holes there, the 357 Magnum and then the 44 Magnum. Let's start taking these layers off and see how many it took. Hopefully we caught the bullet and the bullets intact, but we'll see what we find. So both of them, both of them went through the first piece of drywall. There's the holes. It looks like the bullet is honestly slowing down quite a bit. Bullet came out. The second one, both of them. Still got holes in the third wall. Third piece of drywall, still two holes out the back. Fourth piece of drywall. Number four, still two holes out the back. Number five. Still two holes out the back. 
this honestly is kind of surprising me. I wasn't quite sure what would happen here. This is number six. Number six, we still have two holes coming out the back. Number seven. Number seven still has two holes coming out the back. You can see the 44 Magnum starting to be a little bit bigger hole. Let's go to number eight. Number eight still has two holes out the back. Number nine still has two holes out the back. This is honestly really surprising me. I did not think we would get this far. Number 10, two holes out the back. Number 11, still two holes out the back. Haven't seen any fragments of bullets or jacket yet. And I already forgot how many we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this is number 12. Number 12, still two holes out the back. Let me get this out of the way here. Number 13, still two holes out the back. You can see the holes are getting bigger. Number 14, still two holes all the way through number 14. I almost don't want to believe this. Number 15, we still have two holes out the back, number 15. Number 16, these were kind of stuck together so I think the bullet's slowing down. Number 16, that's still just drywall bunched up in those holes. It's still two holes out the back of number 16. Number 17, still two holes all the way through. It's just drywall pushed down in the holes. Number 18, okay, so, looks like number 18 right here is the last one for the 357, but weird thing is, I never saw a bullet. So number 18, let's look at number 19. Number 19 still has the 44 Magnum hole through it. So the answer for 357 Magnum is it takes 18 sheets of drywall to stop a bullet. That is a lot more than I expected. So 18 for 357. Let's keep going on the 44 Magnum, see if we can find the number. Number 19. Still has a hole all the way through. I'm checking to make sure the bullet's not in there. Yep. Number 19 still has a hole all the way through. Number 20, I think I see a bullet here. Yep. There's the 44 Magnum bullet stuck right here in number 20. Looks like it didn't even hardly deform at all. which is very surprising. You can see there's the hollow point of the 44 Magnum, barely deformed at all. So I'm gonna take a look on the ground quick and see if I can find that 357 Magnum. It's gotta be in here somewhere. And I actually did just find that bullet on the ground. I pushed it out of the 18th. So there is the 357 Magnum bullet did the exact same thing as the 44 Magnum and did not expand much in that drywall. So kind of surprising. So we now know the answer for 357 and 44 Magnum. 18 pieces of drywall for a 357 Magnum and 20 pieces of drywall for a 44 Magnum. Let's take an up close look view at these bullets here. There are those bullets. The 357 on the left there and the 44 Magnum on the right, you can see they really did not expand all. They kept their shape pretty much and just kept on plowing through that drywall. But either which way, pretty cool to catch the bullets. Thanks for watching the video guys. This one was a lot of fun and actually really, really interesting. I did not expect those rounds to go so far deep into that drywall. I really doubt that I'll put 20 layers of drywall on my safe room. But hey, it could be an option. 
we're definitely going to try some more calibers. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. A big shout out to my buddy Jeff and a big thanks to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. If you guys haven't checked out Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors, go do that today. Go check them out and tell them I said hey. Tell them I sent you. Don't forget to check out the description down below. There's a bunch of cool stuff down there. Don't forget to subscribe to Hootie Hoo if you haven't already. We'll catch you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!